our answer here in a minute. First and 10, triple option. And it's a toss sweep to the outside. Hornets aren't there. And here goes a big run. Cross 40, 45. And the first play from scrimmage is going to be a touchdown for Corey Garcia. A toss sweep to the right side and a huge gain. Touchdown, Cal Poly. One play, they score. Fans aren't even settled into their seats. A 64-yard touchdown run on a toss sweep to Corey Garcia. Had one 100-yard game coming into today, and he's well on his way already. So Garcia is the wing back. They've got a slot back, and they've got a full back. Pro throw is the one that leads the conference and is fourth in the nation. And Cal Poly, time of possession. Um, the beach. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You're blocking a lot and catching, I don't know, maybe a pass a game, maybe. If you're lucky, Hornets crowd the line of scrimmage. Graves will throw, rolls out left, is nearly sacked, now throws late, wide open man as the Hornets slip. It's caught by the tailback. That's Lewis. Lewis gets downfield, blocking, and is tripped up. Excellent tackle downfield by the Hornets. Uh, they go two receivers right. Daniel Graves is going to roll out to his right. Throws on the move. Has a man. It's caught. Touchdown. So they quickly release Joe Prothrow, and he caught it in the end zone. Five-yard touchdown, or make it four for Cal Poly. They now lead 13-7. to seven. So Prothrow normally is the dive man, and he just ran in, out into the route quickly and caught dive after the nice 34-yard return by Koski. 21-14 Hornets. Cal Poly will get the ball to start the second half. First and 10, near side hash mark. Dive handoff to Prothrow. Uh -oh, look out. Uh -oh. Prothrow through the defense, right up the middle. It's going to look for a blocker, takes it to the outside. Dre Terrell slows him down. Here comes penalties. Face Might be mask. a face mask before Prothrow is tackled at the 27. If there's ever a good face mask, that was yeah, it. That was fine. It's safe it to touch he cut back and was going to run for a touchdown. And he did all he could just to slow him down, Terrell. Probably grab the mask. Well, and the one thing I said, Steve, the Hornets haven't had many leads this year. The problem is yes. the times they have, they give up a score quickly. And Cal Poly is already inside the red zone. Yep. That is that has been an ex well, they can't do anything in the center of the field. Graves rolls to his left, undercut down the field. It's caught in in the uh, stride by Anger, the tight end, and they get it down to the nine yard line. Clock will stop to move. Well, here we go. Eight seconds left. Ball at the eight-yard line. Eights are wild. Seven-point lead for the Hornets. Third and goal from the eight. Two backs in the backfield for, with Dano Graves. Mustangs are out of timeouts. They're going to play fake. Rolling left is Graves. Throws to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Cal Poly. No signal yet. Incomplete. They're going to rule it incomplete. It looked like it was caught on that sideline. And when the receiver went to the ground, maybe he lost the ball. It's the far side from us. The it officials looked at each other and discussed it for a while before they made the call. So we'll take a look at the replay. It was whether he was juggling it. Two officials had a great view of it. And Boy, it sure looks like he caught it. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know that he actually really had possession before he went out of bounds, though. Anthony Payne was on the coverage. They will likely review this. It's, it's fourth down, it's two seconds be, left. It'll be difficult to overturn because you have to have possession. And now it will be reviewed. And yeah, you need to review it. So you saw it. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are it would be hard to overturn because did he have possession of the ball? It touched his hand for sure when he was in bounds. But did he actually have possession? Yeah, what we see at the end is the receiver laying on his back with the ball in two hands. But what happened before? Was he juggling it? Was he out of the side of the end zone? And again, it's the farthest spot of the field from where we are. The replay we see is it's really hard to tell on the brand new big screen we have. Yep. If it's a juggle at all, then it's incomplete. And I think what's important, Steve, is to know that it's ruled incomplete. So now it has to be conclusive that it's good to change the play. So 21-14, this is a big swing here if the Hornets get out of this. Cal Poly does have two seconds left. They've got their field goal unit ready to go just in case. Well, but we what a half for the here's Hornets, a look though. at the replay on the on the jumbotron. Yeah, you've got your but I mean, I to the even to the naked eye here, everybody in the stands is looking at. It's impossible to tell. Did you have any clarity on the binoculars? He looks like he's juggling the ball to me. I mean, he did get one foot in bounce, but he's kind of juggling the ball, and that's why the official took so long to make the decision. Okay, so you think he's I, in? Yes. Yeah. Does he juggle? He it? was juggling. I think he was juggling until he was out. Okay. Well, they're still talking. The replay booth is to our immediate right. It's in the yeah. same basic press box yeah literally in. if i could talk loud enough they'd be <laughs> able to hear me but i think he was juggling until it was out well you almost i mean here we go so i think i'd we're say get a inconclusive here. but 
what, you know, how catches are ruled. Here uh, we go. You can flip a coin. Here we go. All right. The ruling stands. So, so we will not keep the door locked because <laughs> they have to come through our room to get out. We could remove the, the barricade. Here comes a field goal for Sublet. And then there's like 50 pages of secure the catch through the ground and all that. 25 yarder from the far side hash. No wind at all. Open end of the stadium just to pull Cal Poly closer. This kick is up and he got it. So the half will expire with three more points for Cal Poly, but the Hornets lead. What a half for Sacramento State. Yeah. Probably was the school record tying 90 yard punt return by Isaiah Henney. Cal Poly trying to regain the lead here. Now down to the Hornet 39, play fake. Thrown out to the flat, it's caught, breaking a tackle and scooting down the sideline. 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown Cal Poly. J.J. Koski, a freshman from Danville, caught it, did a quick turnaround, dodged the Hornet defense, took it the rest of the way for a 40 yard touchdown. So great. So third and 25, huge down, third downs today. Cal Poly just three of eight, but you love them in third and this long. But you got to watch any kind of play like a run. It will be a draw play to Corey Garcia, 45 to the 50. Takes watch it out. to the outside. He's got watch more out. than a first down. Manny Scott Anderson saves a touchdown. Garcia blew him up and got the first down and more. That was third and 25, and they gained 30-plus. That's how you don't win ball games right there giving up a third and 25 on a running play. That is devastating. And the end of the run is what the sideline loved. Garcia lowered the shoulders and dropped Manny Scott Anderson. Quickly, Graves under center. He'll give to Prothrow. Prothrow powers it in for a touchdown for Cal Poly. And now it's a two score game for the Mustangs, 30 to 21. So a one yard rushing touchdown and now Cal Poly, if they get the extra point, will have scored 17 consecutive points. They have that familiar kind of two-point conversion look based on how the Hornets defense lines up. Two right, two left, pressure up the middle, sidesteps, looks downfield, and it's intercepted, intercepted by Cal Poly. And yep, they're gonna rule him in, kind of scooting in on the sideline, picking it off. Nice job done by the Mustangs of Cal Poly as Carter Nichols gets the interception. Just along the sideline, able to step in front of the pass, keep his feet in before uh, going out of bounds with his momentum. But a big play for Cal Poly. The Hornets really needed an opportunity to maybe get more turnovers than they gave up tonight to have a chance in this game. They had the 90 yard punt return, but Carter Nichols, a freshman. Assume it's a pass. Pro throws the fullback. Garcia still has the wing back on this third down and long. They are going to throw. Five-step drop for Graves. Looks over the middle to the end zone. And this time, it's caught for a touchdown. Nicely done. Jake Smeltzer, the freshman from Cota to Casa, gets his first career touchdown from Graves to Smeltzer. And now the cushion is big, 37-21. Nice throw by Graves. Should have had the other touchdown. This was working against Kane. I know Graves is a senior. There's a lot of freshmen on the Cal Poly team that yeah. are contributing. And their only win against Montana State. First and 10. Ketteringham. It's a play fake again. Rolling to his right. He's got pressure coming. He slipped. Oh. And it will be a sack, but he was trying to get away from the pressure of Keith. November 3rd exhibition game here at 7 o'clock. And then the Hornets season starts the following week on the road. All games here on AM 1380. First down and 10. Option here to the outside across the 50, 45, 40 down the sideline and nope, staying in bounds. This will be a touchdown. Just like last week, Kyle Lewis isn't used a lot, but the option play, he takes at the distance, a run of 55 yards and Cal Poly extends their lead now to 44 to 27. Hornets lost contain on the option toss. No one was on the outside. And I thought the Hornets were going to be able to get a linebacker over there to knock him out of bounds, but tippy toeing down the sidelines. Yeah. Kyle Lewis, who had a 91 yard touchdown. Had that a lot this year, where they've had chances in the fourth quarter. First down and 10, but just one win to speak of. And handoff up the middle is taken by Cal Poly. And it's second level, third level. This is Anger, and he's going to score. 10, 5, touchdown. He did this to the Hornets a year ago. He doesn't carry the ball much. Reagan Anger. His first carry of the day takes it 29 yards. 
And Cal Poly now has 51 points. My goodness. Another player that can run. Yep. I remember him last year at Cal Poly. They, they snuck in one run on him, and he had about a – Drilled it off somebody? Just can you hit him. That's the target. First and ten. Graves gives to Muhammad. He runs up the middle uh -oh. to the 30, takes it uh -oh. a cut back, and he's going to score. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. My goodness gracious. 46 yards, and now the running totals tonight. Ooh. We're trying to figure out most yards allowed on the ground in Hornet history. I think our monitor went back <laughs> yeah, to the, I've just looked at it and I went, quarter. what the heck? It's I was doing the same so we thing. We both were trying to compute like the <laughs> math. <laughs> it's like, Bitch. yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, they don't have to run another play, but they do. And that'll do it. Cal Poly will get the victory. Their ninth time they have won here at Hornet Stadium. They continue their nice streak against Sacramento State. They improved to six and two. And